Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Sneaker Creepers, Sweden's first sneaker channel. As you can see, nowadays I'm speaking English because subtitles, man, it was not worth the effort. It took about like one to two, sometimes three hours extra per video. So I just figured still a Swedish channel speaking English. Problem solved. Hit that subscribe, smash that like button. These videos take a lot of time, so I do appreciate the support. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Yeezy 350 V2 Onyx. Bam. So, we all know the story with Adidas, Kanye, and Yeezy, but did you know that the Adidas thing only happened because Nike allowed it to happen? What? Kinda. You see, when the Adidas deal went sour, Kim Kardashian was pregnant at the time with their daughter North, and Kanye was thinking ahead. He wanted to secure his children's future, so he demanded royalties, and Adidas basically said, fuck no. Which is crazy to think about, because the only thing that made Michael Jordan stay with Nike was royalties. Which is crazy to think about because the only thing that made Michael... I would argue that Adidas probably thought, nah, we're not gonna repeat the same mistake again. You see, Adidas lost Michael Jordan because they weren't willing to give up royalties and Nike lost Kanye West because history has a funny way of repeating itself. When Nike was playing hardball with Kanye West, Adidas probably went full German. That is my Kanye West. Give him an auto sniper. Give him that papier. I'm sorry about that. Today's sneaker, Yeezy 350 V2 Onyx. These were easy to get. They released on the now infamous surprise. Surprise, motherfucker. Better have a hell of a reason for being here. I'm looking for my sister. In a cargo box. Yeezy Day through a raffle and the stock number was higher than The Rock's shoulders when he's standing next to Kevin Hart. I'm Kevin Hart. Dwayne Johnson here. That's how easy they were to get. This particular 350V2 released last year in June, which basically means this is a restock. And besides Pirate Blacks, these are easily the best blacked out 350 v2s out there because the breads have the red text and red stripes has the red stripe god damn it Tom, you're a goddamn genius so i'm not talking about those those are better than the onyx i'm looking at you mono and cinder rock <laughs> The prices on these at one point were crazy, so if you managed to get two pairs like I did, just wait for a year and you can probably 2x your money. Don't be like me. I actually returned mine. You what? Like an idiot. Because I just ordered so many goddamn sneakers last month. I, 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 don't be like me. In true Kanye West fashion, the generational creative takes a stealthy approach with this latest rendition. The silhouette sticks to its customary prime knit material to build out the base, and this comes swatted in its onyx shade. Laces and heel tabs are fitted to match, while the usual side stripes on the lateral side slightly contrast with their faded black appearance. The texturized midsoles and outsoles are also tinted with black, but they arrive with a faded translucence that allows you to see through its boost loaded cushioning bed. Prime Knit is a lightweight, flexible, and breathable material that molds to the foot, providing a comfortable and sock-like fit. The pull tab serves both as a functional element, aiding in putting on and taking off the shoe, and as a design element that contributes to the sneaker's visual appeal. Boost is a responsive cushioning system that offers excellent energy return, comfort, and impact absorption. The semi-transparency of the outsole reveals the internal boost cushioning adding to the shoe's visual appeal. The outsole is durable and provides traction for everyday wear. The tongue is integrated into the upper, creating a seamless look. And as you can probably tell by now, ChatGPT wrote all that while I was busy taking a dump. Yeah. 
you probably know this by now but Yeezys are mad comfortable you can tell just by looking at them or you probably have a friend who owns a pair but yeah still to this day one of the most comfortable sneakers in the game these are fire man a bit boring yes but extremely easy to match with different outfits the box is boring always the same box when it comes to Yeezys and no extra shoelaces they never do that and sizing is a bit weird you have to go half a size up or a full size I always go for the 43 and one third which is a weird symmetric but whatever follow me smash that like button hit that subscribe I upload every week sometimes twice a week so thank you for watching the entire video and I hope I catch you on the next one